Well, hello again, everybody. This is your midweek uh, devotional coming from 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Uh, Paul says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So Paul used the word therefore here in this verse. And as we all have heard, that when you see the word therefore, you need to keep reading to see what it's there for. So Paul is concluding this chapter on death and resurrection by encouraging us to continue to labor for the Lord. Uh, we need to be steadfast. We need to be always abounding. We need to be unmovable. We need to continue to serve our Lord, to work for our Lord to, uh, without stopping, without giving up. So he tells us, first of all, if you notice the word steadfast, that word means to be firm, to be fixed, to be established. And the idea here is to sit, it is to have a settled state of mind. Then he adds unmovable. The next word we want to see here which is not to be moved from its place. I know many of us are immovable sometimes that, you know, nobody's going to move us from our seat, but this is referring to a different kind of immovable or uh, unmovable here. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. That means to be at all times being in excess of serving the Lord. Always working for Him. Always going above and beyond uh, what he's called us to do. Giving it our 100%, 100% plus. Never quit. Never do our work half-hearted. Uh, no, you know, thinking that this is useless. I'm not going to receive any rewards. And this is pointless. I'm not seeing any, any effect of it. But, you know, Paul's telling us to, or encouraging us to keep moving on. And so he's, with all this he said about the death and resurrection, this should encourage us to continue to move and to continue working for our Lord. Now, if we can word it like this, we should have a, a settled state of mind that we will not move from always working for our Lord, always serving in our Lord. So basically, we need to be settled in our mind that we will always continue working, that nothing's going to keep us from working, nothing's going to keep us from serving, and we need to always give it 100% each and every day. He says, be settled, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, since you know that your pains are not empty in the Lord. So we might not see any fruit of our labors here on earth, but Paul is telling us not to give up, not to quit. When we stand before Christ on that last day, that day of judgment, we will be rewarded based on uh, what we did for Him. So Paul told him earlier in 1 Corinthians 3, 8, Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his labor. So whatever we do for the Lord, whether it's uh, witness to somebody, whether it's uh, feeding the, the poor or taking care of somebody. If we're doing it in Christ's name, we will be rewarded. So basically our pains for laboring in the Lord is, is not going to go unnoticed. They're not empty. So when we are resurrected on that last day when we stand before Christ, you know, He'll, he'll see what we did and He'll tell us, well done, thou good and faithful servant. So we need to continue doing what God has called us to do. And we need to be settled in our mind that we're going to continue to work. And we're not going to move away from that. And we're always going to exceed in what He's called us to do. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for your encouragement. We thank you that, that our work will not be unnoticed. And that you have noticed what we've done. You're taking note of it. And Lord, we pray that you continue to stir our desire to keep on keeping on. 
to keep on serving you, not to quit, not to give in, no matter what happens around us, no matter if we see the fruits of our labor or not. But Lord, we pray that that as we continue to do what you've called us to do, we pray that you give us the strength to carry it out, to carry it out to the end. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.